question of who has jurisdiction over a passenger boat uh, is going to depend on whether federal maritime jurisdiction exists. Federal maritime jurisdiction exists on what they call navigable waters. And a lake that has access to the ocean, where you can actually take a boat to the ocean, uh, is an example of a lake uh, that would qualify for navigable waters, and therefore uh, a passenger boat on that lake would be subject to Coast Guard jurisdiction. Uh, another example of a lake subject to Coast Guard jurisdiction is one that crosses over state lines, like for example Lake Tahoe. Uh, on these lakes, a passenger boat is going to have to comply with all Coast Guard regulations. This means that the uh, captain of the boat is going to have to have a Coast Guard master's license and the boat itself is going to need to comply with the e equipment and construction requirements of a Coast Guard inspected boat. Uh, if the boat is not subject to Coast Guard jurisdiction, it can still be subject to state jurisdiction. Uh, in California, and uh, the reader's example in this case was Lake Shasta, uh, in California the Department of Boating and Waterways does have jurisdiction over passenger boats uh, that operate in state waters. Uh, the boat itself uh, has certain safety requirements uh, that it needs to comply with, uh, and the operators need to have a California operator's license. Um, the uh, California license is easier to get than a Coast Guard license. Uh, a Coast Guard uh, master has to show uh, a long uh, uh, history of sea time and pass some pretty complicated written exams. Um, but interestingly, the Coast Guard uh, master doesn't actually have to show proficiency on the boat he's going to be operating on. Uh, California law is a little bit tighter with that. Even though the testing requirements are probably a little bit simpler, uh, the people who examine the, uh, the captain uh, actually go up and, and check him out on the boat that he's going to be operating on. So regardless of what, what body of water you're going to be operating on, somebody's going to have jurisdiction uh, over both the captain and the boat, uh, and uh, uh, the captain and the, op and, the, uh, and the boat will have to meet certain minimum requirements.